हाइड्रिक प्रॉब्लम क्या हुआ है तो हाउ वी कैन कैलकुलेट द एफिशिएंसी फॉर द हाइड्रिक प्रॉब्लम नाउ दिस इज एन एग्जांपल सपोज दिस इज इजी ग्राफ फॉर ए हाइड्रिक प्रॉब्लम दिस इज पी नॉट फाइव पी नॉट बी नॉट फाइव पी नॉट सो इनिशियली स्टार्ट फ्रॉम ए From A goes to B, then from B it goes to C, from C it goes to B, and again from B it goes to A. Now efficiency eta, this is work done divided by heat supply or heat absorbed by the system. Now in this case, uh, work done will be the area under C graph. So area of this will be this is this length is P naught, this length is V naught. So what that is P naught, V naught. So next is our task is to find how much heat is absorbed per cycle. Heat absorbed per cycle. So in this case, see when the gas expands from B to C, this gas is expanding. So in this case. Expansion at constant pressure from B to C. Expansion at constant pressure, so temperature is increasing. So there is a absorption of heat from A to B at constant volume. Pressure is increasing. So again, pressure is increasing, temperature is increasing. So from A to B, there is a absorption of heat. Now from C to D, if we see at constant volume, the pressure is decreasing. At constant volume, the pressure is decreasing. So again, the temperature is constant. Uh, so sorry, the temperature is decreasing, and from D to A, again at constant pressure, volume is decreasing, so temperature is also decreasing. So from C to D and D to A, heat is rejected by the system, and A to B and B to C, heat is absorbed by the system. So for heat absorbed per cycle, this quantity will be Q A B plus Q B C. Now for Q A B C, for this process. This process is carried out at constant volume V naught. So this heat is absorbed at constant volume. So Q A B, this quantity will be equal to N C V B T. C V is the mole of this heat at constant volume. Now this process is carried out at constant volume. Now for Q B C, see this process is carried out at constant pressure. Isobaric process. So this will be N C P B T. Now based on the given quantities, we can substitute the values, and theta will be equal to P naught V naught divided by N C P B T plus N C P B T. Now remember this B T and B T. These two quantities are different. First, this from A to B, this B T is the change in temperature for A to B. Now, in order to calculate this dt, dt for a to b. Now, for a, the pressure is p naught, volume is p naught. So, p naught, v naught by uh, this is n r. So, this is p a. This is the temperature at A. Now, for temperature at B, it will be twice P naught V naught by N R. So from this, you can calculate this quantity. Now, similarly, D T B, that is the change in temperature. D T change in temperature for B to C. B to C. Now, for B, the temperature T B we have already calculated twice P naught V naught by N R. And for C, for C, the temperature is twice P naught, twice V naught by N R. So from this, you can calculate this quantity. Now by substituting, substituting these two values, you can get the value of eta for this cycle process.